on. Hello, you guys, and welcome to the Women's Cave. Wow, I didn't even have a race. Yet. No, you're not having a race. It's oh. Friday. It's the afternoon. It's hot, which is, I'm not complaining about hot. I'm Jade, by the way. I'm, I'm just saying it's hot. Like, finally, summer is all the way here. Yes. So that means, like, any time is, is a happy hour time because it's summer. That's true. <laughs> That and we are on vacations that we can't go on, so we're on staycations, I guess. So we're like, anytime, right? I, I declare anytime. this week a vacation week. Oh, yeah. I'm taking off the whole month of August. Absolutely. Why not? Because, yeah. I mean, it's not like we can go anywhere. So. Exactly. So I was like, yeah, don't call me, don't write, don't text. Don't even send a smoke signal. If I see one going up, I'm going to douse fire with water. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. That's Winona, well, though. Oh, I'm Winona. Oh, my goodness. I completely forgot to mention that. Yeah, yeah. you did. And, we wrote and I'm the narcissist of the group. I should have remembered. Anyway, we wrote books. Happy hour started early. It did. <laughs> all my frozen concoctions are on my little ice cream machine. All I do is pull down a little thing, and, and here comes my frozen pina, pina colada strawberry daiquiri with extra rum. Mm. Absolutely, absolutely, and I okay. So we wrote, we wrote books. Literary wow. life guides with pop poetry. Yeah, literary life guides with pop poetry. Um, and I'm gonna give you like the fan favorites because we have many books, but here's the top four fan favorites, right? And I thought divorce was bad, and I thought being grown up was easy. Available as audio books. Yeah, and then all the other outlets, and then, <clears throat> and I thought I did my journey alone, which is all poetry. Yes, we said poetry. And, <laughs> and then if only I were me. Yes, again, we're going to say poetry. It's but it's only poetry. available on barnesandnoble.com. You can find the rest of our 13 And I Thought series, uh, Amazon and Barnes and & Noble, and the Misfit Guide series at the yeah, same time. Yeah, and you can find the 25 hottest, because we are the co-authors of that, and the authors are Co-founders. Artists, co-founders. Co- mm. yeah, co-authors. I'm sorry co-authors, co-founders of that, and everything your ladies are doing on www.andwethought.com. But y'all aren't here to hear about us. Go on and on. Although I wouldn't mind. Hey, you're here to hear about our wonderful guests. Wonderful guests, would you like to introduce yourself? Sure. Hi, I'm Gabby Conti. I'm the author of 20 Guys You Date in Your 20s, Um, and I'm a dating expert and a writer, and and I love mimosas. (laughs) Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, how do you take your mimosa? Okay, I I love using a fresh orange if I'm doing it at home by myself. And like I freshly squeeze the orange or grapefruit or a blood orange and just a little bit of juice and more of the Prosecco or, you know, champagne. Absolutely. absolutely. Right? More more alcohol is always wanted. I I think, how do we do ours? I don't. I'm well, not, okay, not going to talk about it today because oh. she's a, and she has a lot going on. Mm-hmm. We want to talk <laughs> about your book. Like, sure. how did you come up with writing this book? Um, well, I was dating a lot more than the average friend of mine in my 20s. And I was always writing about it for various blogs and talking about it on stage and talking about it on podcasts. And so finally, I was like, I really want to put all of my musings into something and hopefully my advice and my experience will help other people. So I started writing this book and I was inspired very much by the magazines that I grew up with. Uh, So that's why you'll see there's like charts and quizzes and advice and then really funny stories um, which I had actually a storytelling coach help me with, uh, who was also an author, David Crabb. He was really helpful in making sure the stories I was writing, which I also tested out on stage, were not like burn book, like angsty diary, but were actually like relatable and helpful. So um, I'm really grateful for him in helping me with that. And kind of humorous. She forgot and kind of humorous. And kind of humorous. <laughs> That's why, well, I would test it out on like stand up stages or storytelling shows. As I was writing the book, I would be testing out these stories and that was really helpful. So how it's written is also how I talk. Um, and I just recorded the audiobook for it, which is coming out soon, so. Nice. Okay, we're getting the audiobook. I know, look, I've already read the book, but you know, like I get the audiobooks anyway, just because yeah, I like to collect that, them. that's happening. There's okay. no quizzes in the audiobook because that would be hard to narrate, but everything else is there. And then if you have your own copy, you can follow along, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. I like it. I like it very much. So I do have the question to ask, so how was it different writing for like the blogs and the journals and and doing the podcast interviews than it was for writing the entire book? Was it like a different form that you used? Well, yeah, because um, the thing with this book that's interesting is in a way it was almost like writing three books because there were three parts to it. So the first part I would say we're writing those stories and making sure those stories were as strong and as tight as they could possibly be and relatable and funny, which sounds like I accomplished that. 
And then the other part was designing all the graphics. So every graphic you see in there, I had an idea of what I wanted it to look like. And I worked with the designer on designing it and writing all the text for it. And then the third section was the advice. So reaching out to couples, interviewing 19 of my exes, reaching out to experts and not everyone got back to me in time. So like following up. So it kind of was almost like writing three separate books or three different parts in a way. Wow. Well, and just FYI. Uh, good y'all. job reading out to the exes. Yeah. <laughs> like those graphics are amazing in that book. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. So what did you write for before you wrote the book? Um, so I have, I was been blogging all my life. Um, I had like a blog spot back in the day and then a Tumblr. And then my first published piece ever was uh, for Hello Giggles. I was on Millionaire Matchmaker as a contestant and I was made a fool out of by Patty Sanger on national television. And so I turned that humiliation into a funny like narrative story. And then after that, I had started writing for Hello Giggles and Pop Sugar and Elite Daily. And now around the same time as I, was, as I was writing the book, I started contributing to Cosmopolitan, which I'm still a contributing writer for. Wow. Fabulous. Yeah. She went from so Google. we talk, we're talking a lot about this book. But yeah. We'll find it. What, what's going on? Sure. Um, well, it's available wherever books are sold. And it is also, if, if it is safe to go to bookstores near you, they are at certain bookstores. And if you don't see it at your favorite bookstore, ask for it because they should be able to deliver it for you um, or anywhere online. And then it hasn't officially fully released yet, but it will be coming out in the next couple of days. It will be available also as an audiobook, and it's available as a Kindle too. But I'm getting the feedback that I'm sure the audiobook's great, but that people prefer the actual physical copy because it's so interactive. It's not as like with the uh, with the Kindle, it's like a little less like that because it's a, it could work as a coffee table book to kind of flip through as well. So this is awesome. I love the fact that she has donuts on her cup or her cover because that's like the only thing you know. You look at it, you go, I could have ate that in my twenties, and I could have did it in my twenties. Well, well not- all the drawings. <laughs> All the drawings on here are all relating to the different types of guys or relationships in the book. So each one kind of represents a different like relationship. But yeah, I know it looks it looks delicious. Too. <laughs> it does. It, it really does. <laughs> so where can people find out more information about you? Sure. Yeah, um, this is normally your question. And what you're doing next? Yeah. Okay. So um, my website, gabbyconti.com, that's G-A-B-I-C-O-N-T-I. And you can find my social media, all, everything there, links to buy the book. Um, and then I'm on Instagram and Twitter at it's Gabby Conti. So I-T-S-G-A-B-I-C-O-N-T-I. And I keep uh, that pretty much up to date. And um, as for what's next, I am currently working on a second book that I want to be a little bit more inclusive. So less about the guys you date, even though I do think that this translates to any type of relationship, you could just change the pronoun. Um, but I am working on a more like kind of like dating handbook for my second book. So I'm hoping that that will come out soon. Oh, Fabulous. great. Thank We're you. gonna look forward to interviewing you on that as well. I would, love that. <laughs> Absolutely. I would like to thank Gabby for coming on today. It was really appreciated. And remember that you can find everything you ladies are doing on www.andwethought.com. While you're there, take a moment, go to the ladies tab, go down to the middle and see the charities that we probably support. Yes, we know that times are hard, so money might not be your thing. You might not have anything to donate, but maybe you'll have the time to take out and go ahead and go to the website and see the wonderful works that they're doing and just type them out a simple email like, thank you so much for doing these wonderful works in the world. We really appreciate it because who of us doesn't need encouragement? We all do. And just remember, wisdom is all around you if you're open to finding it and accepting it. So peace and love you guys from Wilmona. And Jade, back to the beach. Bye-bye.